We cooked pizza in that. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Heiss. Today we're coming at you from the Denver and Rear Ground Western 491 at the Colorado Railroad Museum. And today's video is a little silly. We're gonna try and bake a pizza in the firebox. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> so, I've made homemade pizza for quite a while now. I take a uh, little inspiration from a couple different YouTubers on how to do it, namely Adam Ragusea, Sam the Cooking Guy, Binging with Babish, and I've taken little pieces from each of them to hone my own pizza recipe. And uh, I always love making it and it always gets great reviews, so I definitely recommend you go check out their channels and learn to make pizza if you want to, because you'll be a fun party host. But um, everyone always talks about how their home oven only goes to like 500 degrees and real New York style or real uh, Neapolitan style pizza goes in ovens that go like 900 degrees. And um, we have a cold blast furnace right here that goes like 2,500 degrees, so we should be able to cook it in, I don't know, 20 seconds? Just about. Something like that? Something around that range. Yeah. So, um, I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm hoping it's going to work. Because, I mean, I went for the quality. I want to make a good pizza. Um, so, we're going to cook using the coal scoop. Adam always talks about a pizza steel. Well, this is a pizza, whatever the hell they make a coal scoop out of. Um, we'll sanitize it and uh, preheat it a little bit. I'm going to do some tests with the temp gun to make sure that the temps are going to work out. And I'm prepped to make a couple pizzas because I want to try one on coal, just to say that I did. But right now, we've got a wood fire at the back of the firebox as we're firing up the engine for this weekend. So, theoretically, the wood fire is not hot enough to totally ruin the pizza immediately. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna work. So we're gonna we're gonna give this whole thing a shot and see what happens. The scoop is at like 87 degrees right now, just sitting. And now if I if I set it here. Oh man, it's like right at 500 already. <laughs> Perfect. That's like actually what I'm looking for. It's actually a little high. It's going up to 600 already. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna have to hold this, even with the wood fire, I'm gonna have to hold it up away. Yikes. Else the bottom's gonna burn really quick. So the, one of the whole things with the pizza steel is they talk about how you need to preheat the steel in the oven for like an hour to make sure the steel is all like all the way up to that temp and they say like 500, 550 or whatever. So 600, yeah, that's, that's gonna get interesting. I'm gonna have to hold it raised up a little bit and it's super thin. So I think I'm just gonna build the pizza on the scoop and have it ready. And then we're gonna go from there. So, um, the, the garlic and butter smells great already. I can tell you that. Right, the garlic. Well, yeah, we've got garlic it's butter prepping on. Yet, but it smells great. Garlic butter prepping on the back head here. The oil can shelf. Uh, I mean, butter's kind of like oil. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's just got some solids in it. Got that prepping on the back head, and uh, we'll salt it when the time comes. And uh, you know, maybe brush the crust a little bit if the pizza turns out. If it turns out. If, if it even. Turns yeah, out. I don't know. Pizza. This is if it's still the pizza. We'll see. This is this is. Not a smart thing. No. The, the, the Brits are famous for cooking on the scoop. That was the whole inspiration for this was people always ask, have you ever cooked on the scoop? Have you ever cooked on the scoop? And it's like this whole thing in Britain to cook bacon. Well, British bacon, which isn't really bacon, but whatever, on the scoop. And then over in the States, we do a real bacon, right? And it's just like... <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, you can you can do bacon, yeah, because I mean, you're, you're frying it, right, on the scoop. And you can do that super easy, but a pizza? I don't know, I just felt like being extra. So hey. I guess we'll, we'll see how it goes. Sure. We'll All right. Happens. Well, I'm going to get a clean scoop that hasn't seen coal in a minute, coal I think. Or, um, uh, <laughs> mineral spirits. Coal or mineral <laughs> spirits, yeah. yeah. And find probably the biggest one, too. This is a big honking thing, whatever it is. All right, well, I'm going to go give this a, a quick rinse out in the sink. Because I do hope the pizza's edible at the end. She's rolling smoke at the back door, which is not ideal. It's far from ideal, some would say. Can you crack the door for me? 
I just want to stick this in and sanitize it. Yeah. Get get all the water that I just put on it off. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna be a smoked pizza at this rate. Jesus it's Christ, be a Eric. Cold smoked pizza. Yeah, that's a lot of smoke. That's not ideal. Well, we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be interesting. I guess I'm gonna go build the pizza down here on the welding table. He's got lots of coal in there that's trying to light. It's gonna be a cold smoke or coal smoked pizza, I think. Yeah, I'm worried that it's going to become way too hot, way too quick with just coal later. So I figured I'd do two. I think if she's sitting idling, it won't be too bad. I might have to find the right, right time. Grab my yeast child here. Oh, well, you know, it's fine. It's been cleaned and then I we put it in the firebox for oh, long yeah. enough to... Yeah. yeah. All right, that's vaguely a pizza. Oh, sauce. Well, if you hear giggling, you'll know why. I might hang out for this kind of minute. Laughing is going to take a while, but I'm going to watch this. Watch the madness. We got some Parmigian Reggiano. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. It's a me, Mario. And then mozzarella. The correct kind of mozzarella. I shredded it myself last night and it's already coagulated again because it wasn't pre-shredded garbage full of stuff that prevents it from coagulating. And melting properly. And melting properly, precisely. Whole milk, low moisture mozzarella. It's very importante. We pissed off all of Ireland with the last two of these people are lying video. This time we're probably pissing off all of the Italians. I can't put my arms down. All right, well, speak now or forever hold your pizza. Yeah, we probably should have brought cornmeal to keep it from sticking to the shovel. We'll see how that goes. How did peaches make this disgusting already? Okay, you ready? Okay, here, here it goes. <laughs> do the thing. All right. Just do one of those. I think that's probably okay. I should have started a timer. Oh, here, I got it. How long did you want it for? Uh, for not long, uh, apparently. Right, it's fine. I already see the show. Yep. <laughs> it's, our, it's already starting to brown a little bit. It's not, it's not going to take much longer. No. Well, that's been 20 seconds. It's hard to hold my hand right here. I bet. I mean, you need a glove? You want me to hold it? I got a glove. Yeah, if you've got a glove, I'll trade you. Actually, hang on. <laughs> you almost do need to turn it. <laughs> but at least for a, for a thumbnail shot, right? It looks vaguely like a pizza at this instant. It does. All right, Eric, if you would, for like 30 more seconds, maybe. I don't know if it's gonna come off the heat though. Yeah, once it once it hardens yeah. up a little bit, it should. You, but you yeah, you didn't buy a nonstick scoop. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, maybe a little more, less coal next time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's all over. Yeah. 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 But it's still gonna provide ambient heat. All right, pull it out. That actually looks. Decent. It's, actually a little doughy it's a little it's doughy a start, in the back. It's starting to burn. Yeah, it is starting to burn in front. I almost need to rotate it. I do. I've got these. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh, careful. Yeah, it's a little burn at the front. Maybe it doesn't need any more back there. I think it's just still. Cooking. It might just be the the ridge over the scoop. And honestly, the scoop's hot, so it's still going to continue to cook. I think it's so. Yeah. Yep. 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 Transfer. Transfer. Transplant the pizza! Yeah, it's a little dirty back there. It's stuck in the middle. Come on. There it comes. Oh, oh, poke <laughs> he through. poked right through. Yeah, okay. There it is. <laughs> Alright, close the fiber door. Oh, now they're all gonna now. die of black lung. <laughs> <laughs> it 
didn't look too bad on the here for me at least. Okay, I mean it's I mean it's surprisingly surprisingly not burnt to a crisp no. on the bottom. It is definitely burnt, but, yeah, but not all the way around. And we we will ooh, ooh, that's hot. <clears throat> Paint that garlic butter on. Oh yeah. This pizza is who know, who got, Lord knows. If, if we die, it's we, the pizza. If, if we die, it. it's the pizza. Yeah. But it's, if we haven't died yet, I mean, as much as we do around this thing. I'm sure we're not the first ones. I don't we, know. We can't be the first well, people I'm to sure do this. As much people make breakfast and other... Oh, no, Jeff Jeff made pizza in the oil burners that not. Did bagel, he really? Bagel pizzas. I know. Well, this, is the, it, this may be the first, like, fully homemade, like... Yeah, he, he used to take the mini bagels, like, I, I don't think he took, like, the Bagel Bites pizzas, I think he took actual bagels and, uh, made miniature pizzas on the, uh, on the oil burner that not. That probably doesn't have to go back on. It does smell good. It looks good. It's got a little soot on it. But... Uh, it's, it does have a little soot on it. Oh, you cut it? You want to cut it? You sure. Yeah, I am I am genuinely surprised at how well it did come out with how much coal was in there. I was I was hoping to do it during fire up so that we could have a gentle wood fire, but I didn't get my crap done soon enough to do otherwise. Alright. I'm gonna go for a middle piece, which honestly is not it's not as burnt as I expected. Alright. If I'm dead in a few weeks or minutes, you'll know why. Joey? Oh, Joey. Okay. Yeah, underneath the cheese, just a smidge. It's actually not, it might just be cheese. Huh. No, it's just cheese. Really? It's just, that was just a big glob of mozzarella. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm eating pizza on a K37, <laughs> and it's good. It's not as good as my normal home bake, but it is also my first time cooking on a coal scoop. <laughs> Why? Honest review, Eric. I freaking love it. It's amazing. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Why? Yeah, that's, yeah. I guess I'll go for a little bit of the spicy end here. This is pretty burnt, the front edge, but... As, as dark as it is, it's not, like, gross burnt. Should we throw 91 a slice because she took it? She gets a slice, for sure. I am floored. I am too, actually, like... Okay, back at this end, this is definitely burnt way back here on that leading edge. This piece of crust right here is really nice. It's actually got like a nice crunch to it. It's like, got good crunch, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's like actually good pizza. Uh -huh. I was a little heavy on the sauce, but the sauce is good, so. Oh, the sauce is great. Yeah, it's um, basically Adam Ragusea's dough recipe. It's a Sam the Cooking Guy sauce that I tweak a little bit. That's the secret. Um, and then the cheese selection is a mixture of Babish and, uh, and Regusia again. Like, that's perfect. Right? Like, like literally, just, just the way the dough holds the heart. Now, I don't know if it's tradition or not, but it only seems fair that the chef needs to have her just reward as well. So, Eric, would you please give 491 her slice? Good girl, 91. I hope she's happy today because she got a slice of good pizza. We hope. We can so, only hope. We can only hope. <laughs> All right. So now the engine's fired up, all completely on coal. Almost 150 psi. Air compressor's running. A lot more heat. This is going to be interesting. Go, go get my pie. Pizza. Implements of 
serving. My good sir. Get the orange glow. All right, here goes nothing. Coal fire pizza. The world's first. Well, maybe not the world's first, we'll see. It's hard to hold my head right there, let alone anything else. What, 30 seconds? Trying to get the, the back didn't cook as much in the morning pizza, so I'm trying to keep the, the front further raked up a little bit. <clears throat> pull it in, pull it out. Maybe 30 seconds more. Yeah, God, it's hot. You're not supposed to sit here and stare at the fire like this for that long. <clears throat> we still don't quite have cheese. I don't think we're quite burned yet, though. I'll just sit here and hold it as high as I can. Well, the whole premise behind baking a, a pizza is to have the steel or the stone that conducts heat to the bottom to get that good crisp bottom. And people always talk about Neapolitan ovens being like 900 degrees. Ours is a little bit more than that, but we're, we're really close. It's going to continue to cook on the scoop a little bit, but the cheese is almost all melted. I have no idea what the, the underside of the crust looks like. You got those, uh, tr try and grab, lift up the front edge and see what you can see. Push in, push, push, push towards the tongs on the, the uh, handle. Oh, right there. Oh. Burn to the front end. Oh. Is it dark? Oh, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, that figures. All right. Well, let's try and, can you try and pull off? A spatula might have been better with this. Yeah. That's fine. Melted, no, melted silicones like That's, taste. Right. It's, That's it's additional good flavor. Diet. Yeah. Like right oh, this is just welded it. it. Yeah, get, get the back. Get the back. If you get enough of it, it'll it'll probably try and come off. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Pizza surgery! <laughs> Alright. The wood fired pizza of the morning was the, the real the real answer. Okay. Almost there. Right in the center. You're, you are you are a saint, my man. Uh, just cut it off the shovel? All right. I might be able to just kind of roll it off. It's a it's a calzone. Yeah. It's officially sure. a calzone. Stromboli help, calzone. Help, whatever. Assist. <laughs> that turned into a mess. That turned into a mess. That's all right. <laughs> well, cold not as good as we thought. Coal a little too hot. Burnt the, the rest of it on there. But we have a, a mess. We can have a slice of mess. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> that was good. Metal spatula would have been I better. I think it would have worked great. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're cooking again. You're I am. This one turned into, um, oh. Oh, it's, no. it's modern art. It's just the middle of the pizza. The rest of it's really, Almost a thing. It's got better crunch. Metal spatula next time.
Metal spatula. Fuck pretty good. <laughs> We're honest with ourselves, that is pretty good. It was a challenge to get off, and it ended up being a little geometrically challenged and a little greasy because mozzarella. But I think I think this is a science, and I think this could be perfected. 10 so, out of 10, highly recommended. Yeah, <laughs> 10 out of 10, highly recommended. I'm still very pleased with this. You know what? It's actually really good. I had no thought that it would ever work in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. It's got pepperoni on the underside. Double-ended pepperoni, that's pretty good. I can't believe this right now. I, I, I can't either, and I'm eating, you know, pizza that I can't believe, like. Yeah, welcome to the K37 kitchen. God. I was expecting that to, like. Go up in flame, actually. Be, I was actually be on fire. But destroyed, ruined, something, anything but edible. And the fact that even the, the slightly doughier end is still like completely done. Exactly. And then the other end, I mean, the other end is a little burnt. If we had a way to rotate it on the scoop, that would have been ideal.